Hi again then guys and welcome to a type of tune setup that we haven't done in a few weeks now. It's actually probably the best part of a maybe a month or so and it is of course a big easy money setup. We've done a few of these now for a number of different cars. Of course the best way is still currently the KTM Crossbow, 375 grand per race. This one though alongside my Porsche tune, the Citroen tune, a number of others many of which you've already checked out, no doubt, if you've been following the channel. This one will earn you 345 grand, but I would say it's actually a more enjoyable car to drive. So I know some people like to drive a different car, even though you earn a little bit less. Or some people just don't like the handling of the KTM. So again, it's down to you. Now, as far as the upgrades go, I would of course recommend dropping the weight as much as you can. As far as power, you just want it on the right on the cusp really of N400, so the highest power you can get without bumping it up into N500. That's crucial of course because you earn more money in the lower category because it's more of a disadvantage. Traction control I would definitely recommend having off. It's quite a heavy steering car with this tune. If you want to have it on, of course that's down to you, but you don't really need it. We've got racing super soft tyres as you can see, again down to personal choice. As far as the suspension, we've got the ride height on 95, gives you a little bit of travel to work with through the corners. Frequency on 2.4, anti-roll on 6, front and rear. Then for the dampers, on the compression side of things we've got 56, 85 as you can see for the rebound, neutral camber and neutral toe. Downforce you can't adjust kind of unfortunately but there you go as far as the diff I've gone for the lowest initial torque and then again as you can see the highest settings for both acceleration and braking uh, people like different things when it comes to diff different handling styles so of course if you want to experiment if you want to combine this tune with one of your personal variations create like a Frankenstein hybrid then by all means try that if you want to and as far as the gearbox, I basically just swapped it up to an auto setting of 186 miles per hour. So obviously just convert that into kilometers per hour if you're using a different version of the game. And I haven't even adjusted the final drive. So it's very simple as far as the upgrades go, as far as the tuning goes. And so what you want to know is how does it actually perform in the race? Well, let's find out. Now as far as using this particular car, obviously with this particular tune as well, it will vary on driver to driver as to what car I would recommend. If you're looking for a really easy all-rounder, then I'd recommend the Porsche, the GT3, the original tune that I did. You can click through at the end of this video to see that one. If you want to try something that just gets the best cash, of course go for the KTM. And if you want something that's a little bit in between, you could try for instance the Citroen or a couple of others as well, this one even. And if you find that you're maybe really, really new to the game, you just can't get these lower cars to compete well enough, well again, I'd recommend the Porsche, maybe just bump it up into N500 instead, but if you do want to use something much quicker, I've even done a tune for the LaFerrari, which can still earn you, I think it's like 300 grand still, so it's still not bad. So if you want to use this F40, I know a lot of you guys already love using it, it's not hard to see why. It's a desirable car anyway, the handling as I said airs more on the side of being slightly heavier but that gives it a lot of control through corners because as I've said before I don't build tunes for the 1%, I don't build tunes for the fastest of drivers and I don't build tunes to make people the fastest of drivers. I make tunes to help people who aren't the best of drivers to be better, to give them that advantage, to give them that leg up. That's the whole point of tunes like this, so I'm much more concerned with control rather than just the fastest lap times possible. So if you do decide to use it, I hope you have a ton of fun. As long as you keep the race clean, don't scrape the wall or bash into other cars, then you will get the bonus on 345 grand. And hey, that's around a million an hour, so it's pretty easy money. If you haven't checked out my other tunes, of course, click here on screen to do so. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.